Hey guys, it's Eric Tarr for the ProAudioFiles.com. I got a trick to show you today about creating a unique sounding auto pan effect. So what's the idea with this effect? Typically, what we're going to do is introduce some processing so that our signal sounds as if it's moving from left to right across the stereo field. I'm going to show you how you can implement that and then we'll take it a step further. We're going to think about what we can do to get this signal to also move from front to back. So We'll put these two things together and then it's as if our signal is spinning. So we have got two dimensions, side to side and also front to back. So here's what we're working with. This is just a rhythm guitar part, electric guitar part, one that might uh, be used with the auto pan style effect. So I've got it synchronized here with the tempo of my track two. I'll let you listen to it, bring in the click so you can hear the way that I've got it set up on the grid. So some really nice open, long sustaining notes, something that will work well with this style of effect. So I've got it set up with the grid of my track, which is gonna be important, because we're gonna do this manually. We're gonna create this auto pan style of effect. So first off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the pan. The pan is gonna help us move the signal from left to right. So I'll go in here, my automation, and select pan. So now I've got this line, and I can move it to wherever we want. I could, you know, start it over here on the left side. Listen to it now. Right, you get the idea. I've set it up so that my grid is now on each bar, and then I've selected the mode to also be grid. This way, when I click, it will only latch on to those particular points. So what I'm going to do to begin with is have a nice, slow, auto pan style of effect where I'm going to go back and forth from each side. It starts over here on the left, Move it back and forth from left into right all the way to the end. I've set it up that this is actually going to be every two bars, every four, uh, eight beats total for the cycle. So end it over here. Let's listen to what we've introduced now. You should hear it moving from left over to right. <laughs> So hopefully you're able to hear that. What have we introduced now? Some processing, a way of painting the signal so that it's automatically going to shift from the left side to the right side. So we've got it moving in that one dimension. Let's also think about what could we do to make it seem like it's getting closer to the listener and also further away. Introduce a second dimension. I'm going to do this. My idea here is to use reverb. So I'm going to create a reverb plugin here. Insert one. This can be any one you've got as long as we can work with the wet dry balance. So I'm even going to pull up here just the stock D-verb, D-verb plugin. And let's set it up with a basic kind of haul, maybe a medium haul, about, uh, I don't know, one second or a little bit less than that. That should be good. Introduce even some pre-delay. I think that should work well. Let's bring up the gain here uh, so that it's about unity gain. And then uh, maybe back this off. Get a decent sound by itself. Let's listen to this. This is just the straight reverb being added to the signal. Hopefully to you, it sounds as if it's further away, right? I'll bypass it. Think about it being close. And then when it's, that's when the reverb is off and then fully wet further away. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is automate the wet dry balance in a similar way that I did with the panning. This way, it's gonna go from being dry, which means that it's gonna sound as if it's close with not a lot of those repetitions or reflections, to being wet. That's when we've got a lot of those reflections. So enable automation on this one here, then I can bring it up on uh, my timeline. What I'm gonna suggest is actually open up uh, here using this triangle, open up a second one, and we're gonna switch on rhythm guitar wet dry the purpose for this is what I want to do uh, my idea here is so that it's kind of the opposite of uh, what we have for the left and the right so the idea is here it's in the center when we're in the center here why don't we have that be 
uh, 100% wet. And then we'll go over to the right side, come back to the center again, and then we'll have that one be also in the center. So this one I need to bring down to about 50% here. So on the sides, think of it as a circle. If it's a circle, then when we're in the center, we're far away. Then we go to the sides when it's coming around closer. And then when we get to the center again, that's when we come all the way up close to the listener. And then we start to move further away. And as we go through these cycles, now we can create the perception of this thing spinning around in a circle, kind of like a rotary style uh, effect. So here we've got it now with our, it's uh, just slightly offset these cycles occurring so that we can get that spinning sort of thing. This is something you can experiment though yourself, what you think sounds best, whether it's uh, this alignment of these things or something else. But listen to it now. We have, are introducing some things so that we have another dimension. So the way that I've done, done it, I've created a very slow effect. This might even work better if you sped it up and did it double time. Uh, the main thing was just to give you a, a simple illustration to kind of wrap your head around. But experiment with this. Try it out on your own. If it's faster, you know, the idea is can we trick the listener in to kind of perceiving all these different uh, variations of the sound going on. So that's it. Creative, unique sounding auto pan effect. Take care, guys.